Little is known about the Bloodhound Knights of the Lands Between, however what we do know is that they are a set of elite warriors who use their raw strength and agile reflexes to exert relentless deadly force on the battlefield. Typically assigned as bodyguards, escorts, or even assassins, the Bloodhound Knights track their prey or cargo with seemingly perfect accuracy. Even among these specialized warriors, there are some that stand even above them. One knight in particular is named Dariel. Bloodhound Knight Dariel was rumored to be the bodyguard of Ronnie the Witch before Blythe the Half-Wolf. It is unknown their relationship beforehand, but it is suggested that Dariel betrayed Ronnie at some point in their relationship, causing Blythe, her new shadow, or bodyguard if you will, to want to hunt him down and bring him to light for his actions. Brandishing a gnarly curved blade that can cause some serious damage, this is the excerpt that followed. Curved greatsword with a gently undaunting blade wielded by the Bloodhound Knights. A fearsome blade capable of brutal airborne attacks. I think it's pretty safe to say that anyone who crosses paths with Bloodhound Knight Daria will be in for a fight they soon won't forget. Dariel has 1,480 HP, however, he makes up for his lack in vigor with stunning agility, making him deceptively hard to hit. In addition to his long list of resistances that include Hemorrhage, Poison, Scarlet Rot, Frostbite, Standard, Slashing, and Striking damages, leaving it to his only true weakness which is Lightning Damage. And much like many of the bosses, he has a complete immunity to the status effect of death, and will not gain any buildup of any kind. Dario has an impressive moveset starting off with a 3 hit combo. Dario will appear behind you with nimble movement and slices to each side, then finally nails the sword into the ground with one overhead move. Sword Grind Attack Dario will charge the player with his sword touching the ground, and once in range he will flourish the blade with an upward slash. Jumping Faint Attack After leaping backwards, Dario is immediately propelled towards you swinging his blade while he rotates in the air. Clawing Grind Attack very similar to his sword grind attack, this time Dario will use his claw instead. However, immediately after, Dario will follow up with an overhead sword attack. Special combat notes. Much like any of the other bosses, once below 65% health, Dario will get much more aggressive. From now on, continuing these videos forward, I am going to call this ability being Bloodlusted. However, once he is at the stage, he will become much more aggressive, swinging more often and giving you much smaller chances to attack him in between. Bloodhound Knight Dariel drops 1900 runes in a blade called the Bloodhound's Fang. This is a curved sword, predominantly strength and dexterity weapon with a unique ability called Bloodhound's Finesse. This will allow you to slash upwards, causing damage, and then using the same momentum to somersault backwards. In addition, you can click the strike button again to perform the same faint attack that Dariel uses to dash towards the enemy. Furthermore, this weapon can cause hemorrhage buildup. Once again, my fellow Elden Lords, I appreciate you getting this far in the video, and I must request that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with each entry. In addition, I would love to see you all in the comments suggesting the next entry in the Elden Beastier. May your runes be bright and your blades strike true. Bye!